What's up everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're doing a 15 month update special on the tank. We'll take you through it, see what's good and bad, and we'll give you a little hint about what's coming up this weekend because we're hitting the road again and we're traveling to Edison, New Jersey to take in the American Reef and Reptile Expo. So come on along. Okay, so as I said, the tank is 15 months old and we've gone through a little changes uh, in the last week. Um, what we basically did is we moved the zoa colonies that were over on the left hand side of the tank and put them in the garden. What has happened now is all the zoas are starting to fill out, get more extension, and really starting to grow into, the, into a garden, into a real nice garden. As you can see, the pallies are doing really well. The colonies that were on the left hand side of the tank, uh, I put right here and they seem to be enjoying their new location. Um, the heads are starting to extend now. You can see on this one right here in the middle, um, it's stretched out really far. We haven't lost any of the eagle eyes. In fact, we've gained more, so maybe I beat them and I'm now starting to grow them. The uh, fungia plate, since I put it here, right now it's not showing anything, but I'll put in a clip right now that'll show you some early morning shots of it where it really fills up and triples in size. The dog and coral's really doing well as, as well as the purple candy canes in the back and the candy canes, the neon candy canes up at the front are filling out nicely and they've recovered since the rock got dropped on them. These pink mushrooms are starting to settle in. They're starting to move more and more. Um, this one that's on the sand bed is actually moved from its position. This one over here on the end has moved also and the two that are laying flat have stayed there and I'm, hopefully they're going to start um, breaking off pieces of their foot and starting new mushrooms. The purple digi still going strong. The red digi is coming back. These ends are coloring up a lot more. Uh, the camera doesn't pick it up, but they are getting more color as this one is also. Um, this little shelf over here has become like a natural frag rock. As you can see, the fish have totally beat up my Hollywood Stunner. I'm leaving these two pieces on the rock because they will encrust on it. And just to see what happens with these two, as they grow out, probably what I'll do is I'll sell them off, just fund maybe a new piece of coral. Here's a piece of the purple digi. Again, this is going to encrust on this section of rock. And what I'll do is what likely go in there with a bone cutter when it establishes itself and gets polyp extension like the mother colony is, and also sell that off as well. Moving across the tank, the encrusting green Monty and the pink Setosa are doing well. They're very slow growers, but the green uh, encrusting Monty is starting to push its way down and up. So I'm looking forward to seeing more growth out of that. The red Monty is starting to grow more. There's more and more of a growth ring happening around its edges. The torches are doing well. Uh, here's a torch from Coral Lust and the monster torch from Worldwide Corals has really started coming out. Um, what I've noticed is between that torch and the frog spawn, the clowns are hosting both of these pieces. Now everyone I talk to says, well, are they killing this coral? And it's just the opposite. It seems that since they've hosted these corals, that they've only grown. So there may be something to the fact that with them hosting it, they may be feeding it regularly and exp you know, expediting their growth. The hammer coral's doing well. 
The anemone's a little shriveled up, but, but he's doing well. He does come out, so I'm not worried about that. The pagoda coral is looking really bad. You can see that area of die off. It did not like where it was on the sand bed, and I've just put it here as a last resort now. Whatever happens at this point, you know, it, it, I'm letting it take its course. The only other thing is that I do have more mushrooms, and I do have, for the first time, I'm going through Aptasia. You can see this Aptasia enemy in the back. Uh, I have plans on either hitting it with a calc wasa slurry to get rid of that or zapping it uh, but I'll take care of it the best way right now it's not too big but it will get out of there because I don't feel like having an aptasia outbreak in my tank uh, the fish are all doing well as you can see the the hippo tang has put on weight and grown since the last video the mollies are always getting bigger but now what happened is when I bought these, they're both males and they do have a tendency to fight amongst themselves. So there is a little aggression in my tank and it's coming from saltwater mollies. The fox face is doing well, as are the clownfish. And of course, Ocean is doing better than ever. Um, he's grown since the last video and I have no problems with him eating or any signs of disease at all in the tank. So that sums up the update for this week. Um, like I said before, uh, on to, tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'll be going to the American Reef and Reptile Expo in Edison, New Jersey. I will link the uh, website down below. So if you're in the area, stop by. Um, I'll be there with Billy, uh, Reefing with Billy Pipes and Danny from Coral Lust will be there also, as well as a lot of other vendors. So check them out and if you're in the area, stop down and say hello. Okay, so that's it for the update for this week. Um, there'll be another episode coming out over the weekend. And until next week, this is Scott. I'll see you later around the reef tank. <laughs>